Welcome to the Q&A section that we were not able to include in our one year out strategy briefing. Uh, it's very important to us that we, we, we uh, answer your questions. So here we go, let's do it now. I'm gonna start us right off with Carol's question. Since you guys know how to message and communicate and the DNC doesn't know that, would you please expand to messaging? That's very sweet of you. And uh, while we cannot take over messaging for the Democratic National Committee, <laughs> uh, we uh, uh, take a lot of pride in our pithy messages that are positive and uh, concise and paired with great images. And so we're using all our outreach to do that, specifically our social media storms, which uh, are, are generating an average of 16, 17 million impressions every week. All right, Jordan asks, uh, what are the most important races in 2022? This is a great question. We have nine target states. Uh, they are triple word score states. Almost all of them are states where there is a crucial Senate race to win, at least one House race to win, and a big down ballot race. And that, um, that, that goes with our strategy for the midterms, which is save the Senate, save the House, win down ballot. We're focusing on specifically those states. We need to do that. They are Arizona. California, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Wisconsin. Okay, Dr. Sarah asks, where can one assess what percentage of dim leaning individuals are registered in a district? Or is there data on what percentage of eligible residents are registered in a district? That data uh, does exist. Uh, for practical purposes, though, I can tell you that no matter what percentage of people are registered to vote, even in places like Iowa, where there is a high percentage, there are always tons, literally tons, if you weigh them, uh, more people to <laughs> register to vote. The ceiling is kind of unlimited. Um, the colleges are never saturated. We, there's always more to do, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, so we never really have to worry about that. Michael asks, how did you choose the name Field Team 6? It is a play on SEAL Team 6 because Field Team 6 also goes behind enemy lines and accomplishes the impossible. Donna says, uh, have you done efforts targeting apartment complexes? We're working on that with our canvassing pilot. Uh, we have, we, we've tried in the past. We haven't cracked this nut yet. Uh, going door to door to register Democrats. We specialize in high traffic area voter registration drives, places where there's lots of people like colleges, number one, pride events, of course, amazing um, places like that. Going door to door is difficult. Apartment buildings seem to hold the most promise. That's what we've heard. So we're exploring that right now. Okay, Bob asks, do you have specific contact people for each swing state we can contact? Yes and no. Uh, for some states we do, some states we are looking for them right now. So if you know anyone or any organization who'd like to either kickstart a kick-ass voter registration program uh, or, or they have one, but they, they'd like to turbocharge it, Please put them in contact with us. Um, you can always email dale at fieldteam6.org <laughs> or <Thanks>. info. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, or info at fieldteam6.org. Uh, either one, you will get a, a, a timely response. And uh, uh, yes, but contact us about any, any states you're interested in. I'll let you know if we have people on the ground there. Donna asks, how do you measure effectiveness? Do you do A-B testing? We absolutely do. We do A, B, C, D, E testing on everything we send out. Emails, social media ads, voter outreach, all of it. We crunch the numbers. We use what is most effective. And uh, what we find in general is most effective, whether it is recruiting volunteers or getting people to register to vote, is multiple touches from all different angles. Cherry asks, what was the size of that unregistered voter database? Yes, so our total database is 15 to 16 million contacts. 
about 10 to 11 million of those are unregistered voters who are likely Democrats. Sharon asks, doing a voter registration event, does it matter if, we, if it's branded as Field Team 6? You know, the most important thing is that you are registering Democrats. If you don't want to call it Field Team 6, but do want to use our mobilize feed so it's cross-promoted and helps recruit for the event, perfect. Just keep going. You know, if it helps, use it. If it doesn't, don't. John asks, are you working to get college students to register where their vote is most effective, home state or college state? Yes, we are. Absolutely. That is right on voterizer.org. There's a box you check if it's a college student and it lets them know. If you live in any one of our nine target swing states, please register to vote there. It is not only legal, it's wonderful. So uh, just to clarify, if they're going to college in a state that's not one of our targets, they should register in their home state if that is one of our targets or vice versa. Correct. Exactly. Thank you. Carol asks, what do you think about Lincoln Project messaging? It's very satisfying. I personally love watching it. As far as its effectiveness in creating electoral wins, I haven't seen anything pointing to that. I know that a lot of people contribute a lot of money to it. And I think that is because it makes us all feel really good. Uh, what I'm super proud of that we do is in our wake, we don't just leave the memory of an ad. <laughs> we leave Democratic voters in swing states and districts, some of whom will keep voting for the rest of their lives, affecting hundreds of elections. Don asks, the bonus state, California, are you going to select target house districts after redistricting is over? Mm, yes, you're already thinking of that, which is good. It's, uh, you know, we're playing a soccer game as they're painting new lines on the field. This is the ultimate challenge round. So we have already selected battleground districts. Uh, they are the 8th, the 21st, the 25th, 39th. 45th, 48th. And You're just 49th. showing off now. <laughs> I am. Uh, they may change after redistricting. We'll just have to see. Um, we know that it's absolutely worth it to register Democrats now, every day, even before redistricting, because the, the great majority of them will still be in these swing districts. And you need Democrats just for, for all offices, from federal to local. So it can only help. Melissa asks, do you know where I can buy a large wall map of, U of the U.S. with current congressional districts or even state by state? I know it's changing. I like to have a nice at a glance image of top districts of evil douchebaggery to keep me motivated and focus my efforts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, too. That is why we have the Field Team 6 Impact Map which you can find on our website uh, in one of the drop-down menus on the homepage. That tells you exactly what you're talking about. It, it, I mean, it, it shows you visually all our battleground congressional districts nationwide. So I would take a screenshot of that and blow it up at Kinko's. <laughs> Have it printed on, you know, parchment or something. Frame it. Okay, uh, Tamara asks, how do you determine who is a likely dim? Our uh, data vendors have compiled uh, uh, economic data, credit bureau data on people. And basically it's things like if you um, own a Prius and go to Starbucks and eat kale, there's a good chance you might be a Democrat. And... Uh, and we find that their targeting with all these variables uh, is actually very accurate. Um, and when you pair that with our screening techniques, for example, uh, it, it, it just the Democratic, pro-Democratic Party language on the front page of Voterizer that repels Republicans, we wind up registering almost zero Republicans. Laura asks, 
What's your cost per new registered voter? Okay, so we're super proud of this. Last year, we were able to reduce our costs to about 50 cents per Democrat that we helped register. That's uh, insane, <laughs> to put it in perspective. I don't know any uh, organization that's beaten that. I remember that other organizations had a per registration cost from $10 per person to 200. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. No, that's correct. The Obama reelect uh, spent an incredible amount of money and it did turn out to be, I forget, something like $100, $185 per voter or more. Yeah. Uh, so that's really phenomenal. We stretch every dollar as far as we possibly can. Matt asks, will there be a focus on retaining Democrat voters? Okay, so, well, uh, Field Team 6's main focus is getting people over that highest hurdle, registering to vote. That's our unique niche in the activism landscape. No one else is focused on that the way we are. Uh, there are a lot of organizations that do focus uh, specifically on getting out the vote. Um, that said, we also do some GOTV ourselves. Anyone who signs up via Voterizer gets automated reminders to go vote. And uh, we also pair up with one organization in every one of our battleground states to help us do GOTV as election time approaches. Carrie asks, if we have a group of activists who want to run GOTV drives in a non-super state, are those tools on the site? Can you explain how that might work? I know a bunch of people who would love to see Sarah Huckabee not win in Arkansas. <laughs> yeah, amen. Uh, yes, is the answer to that question. You can go to Voter Drive in a Box. Uh, we have a Voter Drive in a Box for all non-target states. Um, we're, it's a work in progress right now, so bear with us, but it still should prove at least somewhat useful. Um, so definitely use that, use the impact map exactly. As you said, that will show you swing districts within Arkansas, where every Democrat will have the, the most impact. And yeah, get out there and do it. You can absolutely do that. We need Democrats there for sure. Thank you. Elaine asks, are phone banks or texts generally more effective? Okay, good question. The, the real answer is all of the above. We need a multi-touch approach. Uh, we, we looked for what one method of outreach is the most effective, and what we kept coming to is that you need them all. Altogether, they, they're, they're more than the sum of their parts. So uh, you will get to some people by phone that you won't be able to reach via text and vice versa. So do whatever uh, appeals to you most. You know, the, the, uh, the best exercise is the one that you do. So pick what you like, keep doing it. J Judy asks, are there Field Team 6 t-shirts? There absolutely are. Go to uh, our store on our website, fieldteam6.org, and you can buy some right now. It's right at the bottom of the homepage. Dr. Sarah asks, did we get the link to access the hotspots map? And thankfully in the chat, Joanne Bolin answered, uh, Dr. Sarah, you can find the map in Voter Drive in a Box for the state you want. Swati asks, where do the QR codes on the postcards lead to? Those QR codes go directly to voterizer.org, which is our custom-built partisan voter registration portal. It's the fastest way to register a Democrat. It works in all 50 states, and it makes the process easy and educates whoever goes there about what the Democratic Party stands for and polling places and the next election date and watch outs in that state, et cetera. That's right. 
Rita asks, can I donate through ActBlue? I thought you'd never ask, Rita. Yes, please go to fieldteam6.org. That's the word field, the word team, and the number six.org, and just click donate. You're just in time. Thank you. Every donation helps. And that's it. Thank you so much for checking out the Q&A for our one year out Field Team 6 strategy briefing. If you have any other questions, please email info at fieldteam6.org and we'll respond as soon as we can. Um, thank you so much. Let's get out there. Hope I see you at an event sometime soon. Let's go win this. Should I do it again? Are we good? Yeah, let's go through the whole thing again. Yeah. <laughs>